All right, Twitter stock tumbling today, uh, and a lot of people are trying to figure out whether it means that Elon Musk or all of this is happening because Elon Musk might have some plans that don't jibe with, well, Twitter shareholders. Charlie Gasparino, what's going on? Uh, not just Twitter shareholders, Neil. It's the federal government. Uh, you know, there's a big body of a, a big agency in the federal government that a lot of people don't know about. It's called CFIUS. The, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. And what they are threatening, or at least opening up an investigation, uh, into whether uh, Musk's use of foreign investors might violate some sort of a national security edict. And, you know, listen, th this is the committee that that Trump used, essentially was was attempting to use to uh, to get um, to get uh, uh, TikTok banned from the U.S. and uh, they do have power now. Whether minority interest in a company in a takeover, because remember he he will he will be the majority owner. Uh, Binance, which is a Chinese company, uh, a couple I think Qatar's uh, sovereign wealth fund, and maybe and Prince Al Walid of Saudi Arabia would be minority investors, uh, but they wouldn't be owners. Okay, so whether that qualifies as something that Sifi can stop is is unclear but clearly this is being investigated Bloomberg was first to report it I understand it as well and uh, it could be serious but again we, we don't know I, I don't know how far Cepheus is I don't think anybody knows really how far Cepheus is power can it extend to minority owners in a bigger deal where the majority owner is clearly someone who has national security clearance you know uh, Starlink is you know forced Elon Musk to get national security clearance and uh, he has it, you know, to do those space flights. So, you know, why minority interests would, 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 would prevent this from happening is beyond me. But they are looking at it, Neil. Back to you. He has also reported been looking at getting rid of a lot of people, up to three quarters oh, yeah. of the workforce. Is that true? That is absolutely true. Neil, look at it this way. He's paying $44 billion, way overpaying for this thing. It doesn't make money. It has lousy cash flow. You know, I think he's paying forty billion more than it's worth, and I'm like, I'm not the only one who thinks that this is not a company that is very desirable on a lot of levels. Uh, if that's the case, you know, you, in order to make the numbers work, you got to lay people off. The problem that he's going to have, Neil, is that despite the fact that Twitter is a lousy business, it's extremely capital intensive because you got to monitor the the bots. You know, you got to monitor you know bad behavior. There's a lot that goes into essentially. Putting a tweet out, and and now he wants to put a bug in there that allows you to, to edit your tweet. That's very capital intensive. So how you how you, how you sort of justify laying off people and and expanding Twitter and and keeping it up to date is going to be difficult. But that's what that's where it is from a financial standpoint. Thank you, my friend, very much, Charlie Gasparino. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.